Czech, in Thai, in Thai word. We spell as the Czech by the U.S. Not Czech like this. Just a really? just in America, just in English word. Uh, we you don't use this word, or you do use this word. We use this word in English here because we we don't maybe uh, the, uh, follow as the English teacher. But uh, when we use check that in Thai word, we use we spell as a Thai alphabet. It's, it's followed as the U.S. check. Right. I thought so. <laughs> anyway, of course, you can use it this way. It depends on which way you want to go. You know, nobody's going to get upset if you use check, except if you're in the, writing a check in Chicago, Illinois, or Boston. Somebody will say, what, what's this all about? You know, but, you know, it's just the way it is. This up way? Yes. Yeah, this way. So we up and down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was the big. It's what oh, all you want to know. Swing. 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 Very chilly up here. Conscious. Consciousness. What's, what, is, what, is, what does it mean? Yes. Well, that's a good question. To be conscious, to be awake, Alive. Many different ways you could use conscious. The, what, what would be the opposite of conscious? The opposite of conscious. Awake, sleeping. No, not necessarily. Yeah. Oh, he's he, he's unconscious. He's out of it. He's totally not alert, not awake, not alert. he's alive but unconscious. Fainted, perhaps, or something like that. To be conscious of something is to be aware of and alert to a certain situation. He is conscious of the fact that he has to be at the airport at 10 o'clock. He's aware of the fact that he must be at the airport at 10 o'clock. He is alert to the fact that he must be at the airport at 10 o'clock. He is conscious of the fact, he is aware of, he knows that he must be someplace at 10 o'clock and that is the airport. Conscious. To be unconscious, you you could be perhaps fall from a great height and be not out, knocked out, knocked out. In a boxing match, people would be kapaf, a knuckle sandwich, kapaf, knocked out, unconscious. Get a doctor. He's unconscious. He has to be revived somehow. Grow order from this baby. Wow, what happened? What happened? No one. Huh? Unconscious, knocked out. Conscious, aware of, alert, alive. I am conscious right now. I'm awake, alert. What's going on? To be unconscious would be be not awake. Not aware of what's going on. Totally unconscious of the fact that he was to be at the airport at 10 o'clock. He never even got out of bed. Wow. Uh, it's not respond, <coughs> respond on, on something like this. Conscious? Yes. Unconscious is mean not respond on something. To be... Respond. Well, uh, unconscious really... Yeah, you could say that, but unconscious refers to the fact that the person is not awake. He's unconscious. If he got hit by a car or a bus and he was knocked down and knocked out. He's unconscious. Unconscious. 
you could say not conscious. He, he was not conscious of the fact that he was supposed to be at the temple at 9 o'clock. He was unaware of the fact. Unconscious usually refers to uh, in, a, in a state of, of what you would call a coma. <sighs> totally out. A coma. He's in a coma. He's knocked out. He has to be brought back to reality, brought back to consciousness. Conscious to a state of consciousness. Consciousness. Awake. Alive. Consciousness is a... It's a state of being conscious. The suffix. The suffix. That you add on. Conscious. Consciousness. The state of being alert and alive. A state of consciousness. <coughs> to be conscious. Totally alert to what's going on. To be unconscious on the floor, nothing. Boom, out. Conscious. Awake. Alive. Alert. Knowing. To be knocked out is to be unconscious. Boom. In a coma. Out of it. I get a little bit confused when you add ness, uh, consciousness. Is it the noun? You yeah. have to become a noun? Yeah, consciousness be the state of being conscious. Yeah. State. The condition of being conscious. You would see any uh, consciousness, uh, kindness. An act of, first of all, to be kind would be to be nice and helpful and assisting other people. He is a very kind man. Kind man. So that, that the state of kind would be kindness. Kindness. An act of kindness. Kindness. He helped the lady across the street. He is a very kind man. He. he it evidence an act of kindness. Kindness. The state of being kind. Consciousness, the state or the condition of being alert and alive. Wow. Kind. Kindness. You, you'll see NESS on the tunnel of words. Many as you can think of. Unconscious in a coma, knocked out. Totally out. I am conscious of the fact that I have to be in the airport at 10 o'clock. I'm aware of that. You don't have to remind me. I know it. I'm conscious of it. It's in my mind. That Many, many, many 
suffixes. You can look them up in your dictionary or, or wherever, and you'll find many, many ways that these are added on to words to slightly change or add to the meaning. In the case of oh, help, yes, help, assist. Assist, A-N-T. The suffix, it changes assist to assist ten. A person who assists. A helper is a person who helps. And the E-R, the A-N-T, the I-N-G, the N-E-S-S, and all the way up the line are suffixes that alter slightly the meaning of the word. We go from help to a person who helps to helper. Suffix.
fast and help in selecting one. He told me uh, several, 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 several jackets. Did I try? Try. Try. Did I try? Or I finally select this one. I passed far in uh, is with a uh, as I was short, 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 I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson for some help in selecting one. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Go ahead. I reset I recently went, recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson, salesperson for some help in selecting one. He told my me, me, so world jackets speed. I tried on. I finally, finally selected of one. I paid for it. A check as I was chopped on cash. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Short on cash. Cash. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, cash, actually. Cash. Cash is C A T C H. No. Not this time. Cash. 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 Yeah, as I was short on cash. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson. Selling person for some help in selecting one. He told me several jacket which I tried on. I finally selected on one. I kept for it with a check and I watched show one cat. Short, short, or cash. I paid, paid, paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a sales person for some help in selecting one. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one, I paid for it, one with a check as I was short on cash. Very good. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>
Very good. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. I recently went to the department store for a new jacket. For buying a new jacket. I asked the salesperson for some help in selecting one. I showed me uh, he showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Yeah, very good. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson for some help in selecting one. He shows me several jackets which I try on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a shape as I was short on cash. Yeah, very good. As I was short on cash. Cash. As I was short on money. I was short on cash. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked the a sales person for some help in selecting ones. He showed it. He showed the me several jackets which I tied. I tied on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with my check. As I was short on cash. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. I recently went to the department store to buy a new check. Very good. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked the sales person for some help in selecting one. He showed me several one. Uh, he showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. <laughs> I paid for each. I paid for each. Which I checked as I was short on cash. Yeah, I was short on cash. I asked a sales, uh, sales, sales person, sales sales person sales for some help and supply. Finally, finally selected one. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson for some help in selecting ones. He showed me several, several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. I pay for it with a check as I was short on cash. <laughs> Very good. That was it. You paid close attention to the uh, pronunciation. Very good. Right. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. Okay, go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a I was I was a solicitor person for some health in so, so, selecting selecting or selecting one he saw me several jackets jackets when I read on try 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 the Try on. I finally. I found. Finally. I found. Finally, the list one. I passed for. Paid. I paid. That's for this week. The week changed. As was thought on cut. Yeah. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked 
and sell person for some healthy slicing coupon. He showed me several jackets which I try one. I finally select one. I test for it which I checked as I was short on cash. Right, I was short on cash. Ash, ash, cash, cash, ash. Yes. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a check as I was short. Short 
On cash. Sure. On cash. <coughs> I asked a salesperson for some help. Help. Because you want to avoid saying, may I help you? May I help you? No. May I help her? Big difference. Big difference. Help. Or some help in selecting one. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. Go ahead. I recently went to the department store to buy a new jacket. I asked a salesperson for some help in selecting one. He showed me several jackets which I tried on. I finally selected one. I paid for it with a check as I was short on cash. Right, exactly, as I was short on cash. So, a few days ago, not recently, a few days ago, maybe last week even, or even two weeks ago, it wasn't a long time ago, it was recent. A few days ago, I went to the department store.